This episode was recorded on April 24th, a couple of weeks before it has actually come out. It will be hosted on both SoundCloud and YouTube, as will all audio podcasts from now on. Enjoy, and just bear with us. We'll be a couple of weeks out of date there. We do apologise for this. That's right, everyone. It's Radio Nifty coming to you not so live from K98.9 in the morning. Listen well and enjoy your stay with Radio Nifty. That's right, everyone. Radio Nifty. What's up, guys? It's Radio Nifty coming out to you at uh, the 24th of April, 2014. Well, I'm here. Nifty Jerk is here. And I'm here with uh, Adam. Say hello. Nifty Adam. Yay. So we're doing this thing. We're doing this thing again, I guess. Yeah, but this time we're across uh, Skype. It's different. <laughs> yeah, doing I'm this across off. Skype at least. So uh, if there's a few bits yeah, of... Yeah. Yep. So we don't have to like continuously be around each other because that shit's just annoying. I know, man. I don't really like being around you. Uh. Anyway, so yeah, what, so uh, what have you been up to then, Adam? Uh, watching Game of Thrones. This is a... Oh god, yes, we've been doing that. Uh, I do have an idea to speak to you about Game of Thrones, but I'll talk to you after the uh, podcast ended about it. <laughs> after the podcast, because it's spoilerific, yep. I'm guessing. Uh, uh, it could be a potential thing we do, but. All right, all right, all right, all right. Could be a thing. Yes, sir. So there you go. There's, there's like there's 30 seconds into the video, and now you're on a cliffhanger. You have to wait. <laughs> anyway, so I'm thinking like, so is there anything you've been like? Because we're obviously we're we're a gaming channel, really. Is there any? Yeah, like, we're a gaming channel. What games are you playing at the moment? Um, depends what I've been doing on. On um. So what games are you playing on, at the moment? You know. Uh, on 360, I've been playing. Minecraft, and uh, really, uh, yeah, I see and, all the time. I, and I finished Creed. Finally, finished Creed Ooh. for for four. Um, mm. Yeah, it took me ages to finish it. I got sidetracked mm. by, by all the other games and the Xbox One coming out and everything. And then uh, Xbox One, yeah. I just I switched between every single game I have, apart from COD. I just don't. I fucking hate COD. I can't stand it. <laughs> when it first came out, I was really excited. COD, COD, so, and, COD, and, COD and yeah. Cause it was, well, it was a new COD. People get excited by them all the time, really. Yeah, I, I like I like missed it, and then started playing again. I was like, oh, I really did miss this game. And then um, yeah. I just I just woke up one morning, and, like went online, and I was like, this game is shit. And that was it. I'm a bit honest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, no, 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 it's, it's it, the really. battlefield, the battlefield, and Call of Duty are just falling into a trap now, where the online just isn't fun because they haven't been able to capture what. Games like Modern Warfare One and Two were able to do really. Yeah. Which were the two yeah. big multiplayer ones, in my opinion. Uh, I think COD Four was well, COD Modern, COD Modern Warfare One was. Yeah, that that kicked well, it probably, off. Probably, probably the one of the best games I've ever played by by online. Yeah. It start, It set the fucking marker. It did set the. It, it yeah. It did set a good then, online mark. And then they never managed to keep up to that. They, like, they, like they set the line, and then they never managed to get back to the line. They just ruined it. They made a really good game and yeah. then ruined the next one, and then yeah, didn't actually get back to it with the third one. So it's like, well, well I, don't, well, I don't, well, I don't know. Modern Warfare. I, I really enjoyed Modern Warfare too, and I loved the online. Oh, I enjoyed all the Modern Warfare. So. I thought they were class, but I didn't think they were as good as the first online. Oh no no no. Um, haven't played any Creed online. Just opened up my Xbox there. No, really not. I'm surprising. No, because I've, I've no one to play with like that. I have no one to play with. Point, yeah. yeah. We used to play three quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Voice broke there. <coughs> uh, I have a cold. <laughs> ah, right. Okay. Now I've got a bit Sam of a cough gave me myself. A cold. Little bitch. Um, so, um, and then if you also, you've been playing Creed, uh, Minecraft on the 360, Creed on, and then Yeah, else? Creed on the Xbox. Yeah. Um, pff, Trials Fusion, that just came out. Um, um, ah, yes. I don't really play Plants vs. Zombies. Kieran's in love with it, and I just can't get up. Can't oh, get yeah, I know. Uh, haven't played Titanfall in a while, but I find Titanfall is probably <laughs> the best game I've played in a long yeah, time. Yeah, in a um, long time. No, I've been reading, really. I haven't really spent much time playing. <laughs> I've been kind of reading yeah. shit. Yeah. Back on Feast for Crows. It's downtime. Yeah. Nah, back on the Game of Thrones books. Back on the Song of Ice and Fire books. You Sorry, talk I do apologise. <laughs> what are you, what are you, talk, what are you talking about? I'm bitch? the one that I'm the I'm the one that almost always brings that point up as well. Shit, I fucked that one up. <laughs> I know you'd have to say that. Like Shit. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Uh, um, I'm gonna cut that out <laughs> and I'm gonna replace it. Song of Ice and Fire. Song of Ice and Fire. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, 
I'd say for me, I've been uh, because I, I was playing. I stopped playing 360 games for a while yeah. because a lot of them came out and I just couldn't get into any yeah, one of them. Too many came out. Like Fable Lost, Fable Anniversary came out, and I'm really big fan of that. And it just, I don't know, I just couldn't get it, keep into it. Cause I find that a lot. I think that I've got. Bioshock. Um, hmm. I've I found that a lot recently. That? Like um. Like, oh yeah, well, there's too many games stay going out and you just can't keep yeah. into one game. I can't, I can't stay with a game. Like I'm just, it's like yeah. as I've gotten older, and then as as they keep on releasing, like, they release every single game. But about, but about a week of each other. Like um, yeah. when I got when I got Arkham Origins, I was really looking forward to. It. I was like, oh yes, Arkham Origins. Yeah, I'm like, Arkham, this, is, this is great. I know, but it's only because the day after, the week after that, Creed Four, Creed Four came out, and then after that, then FIFA came fucking, out. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't know. There's fucking, there's just hundreds of games, and they're like, no, Xbox One. Yeah, I know that feeling. I don't know. Just well, see, my thing was like, because the only game I'm playing at the moment on the 360. Yeah, what a complaint! What a complaint! Oh. So the only game I'm playing on the 360 at the moment is the uh, the Burial at Sea Episode Two DLC for Bioshock Infinite, because oh, it right, came out really and I just never and I never picked it up again because I just couldn't be arsed playing yeah. it. Well, that was one and of the reasons I bought a PS3. To play like to play Bioshock Infinite. Well, I didn't have to buy a PS. Yeah, I didn't have to buy a PS3 to buy to play Bioshock Infinite. I wanted to not care about the achievements in it and actually ah, play right, the yes. game for pure enjoyment. And then when I'm done with it, put it away and be like, I really enjoyed that game. But yeah, 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 I haven't actually done anything about. yet. Yeah, yeah. I say I've been playing that. Cause I've, uh, I've and then on. Well, that's all I've been playing on the 360, and I've been playing on. Uh, what have I been playing on my PC? I have been playing. Well, I've been playing, oh, I've been League, playing of well. I've been playing League of Legends. Been playing I've been playing League of Legends. I've been playing Sid Meier's Civilization Five because I like those kind of games now and then. Hmm. And I picked it up for like when it was cheap as dicks. And also, I've been playing a game called Novus Eterno. What the hell is that? Which is uh, it is an a persistent online. <laughs> MMO, MMO strategy RTS, RTS with spaceships and stuff, hmm. where you can colonize planets. You have a shield planet, which is your home planet, which no one can take, but you can voluntarily decide to leave the sector and get rid of that planet and just choose another planet to take over. Yeah, and it's a very fun game, but it's it's you you can, like there's a ship designer in the game where you get to design your own ships essentially where there's light class ships there's frigates there's destroyers and there's capital ships and you can design any ship you can put what weapons you want on them what engines you want on them what kind of like utilities and bays you want like you can have a fighter bay if you want um a supply drop pod which is where how you colonize planets is you drop soldiers on yeah and the whole point is to build up an empire and form alliances with other smaller empires and you can have a, an alliance of up to six different um, empires in it after that the um, and the uni- I say after that you can't do much more the universe itself is massive they have they have like galaxies upon galaxies on it Alright. It's ridiculous, just like, because you can zoom out and it's like, oh, you're in a galaxy, and there's like 20 other galaxies around you, and there's so many players, the possibility in that game is there's so many players. At the moment, they're still in alpha. I believe they're bringing out a beta, or bringing out the game, this year, it might be a couple of months from now they're planning to, I'm not sure, but I believe it's still in alpha, I haven't actually played it for a couple of weeks. But it's actually a very fun game. Hmm. It's, it's, a, honestly, it's very, it's very interesting to look at. On a video front, me and Kieran have been uh, recording uh, another force to play in uh, Amnesia, Machine for Pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't his name. Excuse me. So yeah, we're we recording another them. One of them eh? Yeah. yeah. This time with um, face Ow. recognition. Keep my mic. I say face recognition. It means a camera. We have a camera and uh, <laughs> yeah, ah, right. times. Ah, right. Hopefully, I'll be out soon. <laughs> when Kieran needs to, Kieran needs to get some software for it though. So we'll uh, yeah, we'll we'll see, see when, do uh, pip. See when that comes out. Yeah, and do pips. I don't, yeah, I don't even know how to mm-hmm. do all my software. I need, I need to learn. I'm not sure if my editing software has that. I know it has multicam, <laughs> which is why I edit the GUI. Because hmm. it has a very, it has a nice and simple multi-cam, which is nice. Yeah. And I, I think it has a P- PIP, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I've no, 
think I'm pretty sure. My, well, anyway, I know mine does, but I just have no idea where the fuck it is because my yeah. options are like everywhere, and I'm just like, oh my fucking god. I just have, don't have the time or the patience sometimes to go through it all. Catch me in a good mood, I might do it. Pinball bruise is doing. My pinball bruises have mostly gone. The bad ones are still there. As yeah, back my bad ones. We went. We went about me, you, and four other of our friends went paintballing for one of our mates, Paul's twenty-first. Uh, Paul, you know him. He, he, does all, he does all the drunken things with us. And uh, we, we were, it was fun. It was very much fun. Apart from that, we were in quite a lot of pain after it. Me and Jake won. The other guys lost. Oh yes. Oh yeah, because you get put on random teams, whichever number you are, that came into the. Um, Pitball that bought you yeah. a ticket at the it was, time. It was odds and uh, evens, me and Adam... right, Jack? I have a complaint with this. It was odds and what? evens, yeah? Yeah. And there was, there was like six of us, wasn't there? Yeah. And yes. there was two of us. Right? <laughs> and there was yeah. four of them on a team. And we all went in together. <laughs> what? What the fuck? was <laughs> But yeah, we won. We won 3-1. We won three one, which is nice. Yeah, we had, we had a bunch of children with us. And... Uh, we managed to destroy them and Paul had his own gun because he's one of those guys. We kicked, we kicked ass. Yep, we kicked we all the ass. We did brilliantly. We, there's a game type where you have to defend a castle and attack a castle. If the attackers are, have to run a flag into the castle and throw it yep. in. There's a safe zone about five feet in front of your castle so you can't shoot them there. Defenders just sit in the castle. Avoid good pellets because you only have one life in the castle. Attackers have unlimited. And you just have to survive for 10 minutes. If After 10 minutes, the attackers have put the flag in, you win. Attackers just have to get the flag in at 8 point, they win. Um, Paul, uh, Paul's team managed to get it in at 8 minutes and something like 21 seconds, I think it was, wasn't it? It was definitely 8 minutes. It was some random other number. And then we did it and we smashed, their, uh, smashed them into 4 minutes time. We kicked the ass there. Half their time. Was, that was amusing. Mm. 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 So, uh, what we now? so we're at uh, about 13 minutes now. And I'm thinking we're going to have to do a... Because we are... We do call ourselves Radio Nifty. And in the radio time, we have to do a nice weather and sports seg- segment, I believe. You're going to say section there. Sec. Segment. Sex. Uh, okay, and we're over in spot. So, Adam, Adam, it's, what's it's the weather today? So, it's uh, misty. Uh, can barely see. I mean, about the third house along from my house, from where I am right in now. In the northeast of England, this is. In the northeast of England, it's very wet. It's very misty. Look out for sporadic yeah. showers. <laughs> it's very misty, cold, wet. That's where we live. It was, actually, it was actually kind of warm earlier, wasn't it, though? Yeah, well, I wouldn't change living Someone's in the north. Not. I like the fact that it's just miserable as fuck. It matches who I am. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what we got. So what's the news in sport? As we're English, we'll stick with football today. <clears throat> uh Chelsea managed to get a draw at Atletico, at Atletico Madrid. That was in, that was nice. Um hey. I don't know what the hell Rory McIlroy is doing because I don't follow golf. Um, oh. <laughs> I don't follow rugby and uh cricket is back to their normal teams, their county teams, not the country. So that's about it. In uh, around two uh, or a month or two times, we have the World Cup coming up, though. So, oh yes, we do. And England are gonna get knocked out of yeah. that so fucking quickly. It's gonna be unbelievable. <laughs> yes, we are one not a very good team. <laughs> two, we are matched against. We are in our group. We are matched against very good teams. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Which is rather annoying. Yep. It's very possible we won't get out the fucking group stages. No, we won't. I'm d- I'm guaranteeing we don't. I'm putting a bet on it. <laughs> well, last year, the last not last year, the last World Cup, we only got to the quarterfinals. That was only yeah. just. We'll be doing a poll again anyway, won't we? With with everyone, I'll sort that out tomorrow. Oh. Like you know, we're doing a what? Sorry, like a poll, like we did last time with the Euros. Oh right, like you oh, know, yeah, everyone yeah, gets yeah, everyone yeah, gets yeah. two teams or whatever, and then we'll. Put, See like, who gets the further. Much, or how whatever. much money in, and then yeah, when it takes. Yeah. Over. Last time, Ibi won that. Ibi got Ibi was so fucking lucky. He got bloody, bloody get. He got Portugal and Spain. Oh fucking hell! In the Euro, those are the two teams. <laughs> yeah, those fucking, are the teams, huh? It's ridiculous. So we had Ronaldo and then Spain. Bastard. I wanted to bring I this up because uh, 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 
Oh, you say sorry? Oh, you say sorry? Oh, um, I, I, I was oh, so pissed off go. when we did that. Um, we did, we did the Euros there. Uh, Why? Why? I, I was like, all I was saying was like, oh, fucking hell, I do not want to get England. First draw, instantly got England. I was like, you fucking bastard. And then, um, <laughs> and then next one I got bloody Republic of Ireland. I was like, you fucker. What the hell? So I was just like, well, I might as well pay my fucking two... money now. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, just give it away, Brit- dude. I've got two fucking British teams. What the fuck? I want... Well, I wanted to off. bring this up. Anyway, yes, carry on with what you were saying. Like, this is a, this is a, this is a, now we're into the new story of the uh, radios. Uh, you're a big fan of how it, well, apart from the last season of How I Met Your Mother. Yes. Uh, I have not watched the, the very last season, but I know exactly how it ends, and I'm and it not just happy depresses with the you. ending. Yeah. Yeah. So we won't say because it it I don't think it's been out for long enough, really. No, it hasn't hasn't been out very long. But yeah. have you heard about the uh, the new show, How I Met Your Dad? No, what really? They are doing a spin-off show called How I Met Your Dad. It's a standalone show, new characters, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, it's just the female version of How I Met Your Mother. What, but Let- with the mother in it? No, not the mother from How I Met Your Mother. Some random other person. Right. It's standalone. So it's, a- it's just called How I Met Your Dad. Okay, that's, okay, that's really weird. I'll watch that. I'll, uh, I'll character bio, main- Sally. She's vibrant, messy, un- un- unpredictable. A female Peter Pan who has never grown up and has no idea where she's going with her life. She's thinking of calling it quits with her husband of a year, Gavin. She'll learn on her circle of friends for she'll lean on her circle of friends for advice and support for the inevitable divor- divorce. <sighs> <sighs> Juliet, she is Sally's sexy, flamboyant, energetic party girl BFF. She runs a successful so fashion blog. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's exactly the same fucking characters, really. Danny, yeah. Sally's older gay brother, a type A underachieving lawyer, with whom she shares so little in common with. <laughs> okay. So there's three, there's four guys and two girls from the character bios released so far, really. Alright. It sounds so weird. I don't know how I think yeah. about this. At all. I'd. I'm, I'll probably I'll pick it up, but I don't know what I'm gonna do and think. Yeah. Also, uh, I'll watch that. I'll... Also, uh, do you know? Do you know? Jake Rowling released her book, The Casual Vacancy, didn't she? Like a first one after uh, Harry Potter. Uh, didn't it? Yeah, the, isn't that the one that flopped? Um, it's been set to turn to a television series. I thought it was a shit. Fit. I thought it, the book was crap. It, I didn't like it. I got it. Well, I got it from someone else and like read it. I, it was, I didn't think. I thought it was shit. I didn't like it at all. But uh, yeah, it's been a joint production from BBC and HBO. They're gonna uh, the BBC announced in 2012 that it will be adapting the novel, but only now has like made plans to do it. Yeah. So a woman who has way too much money is just gonna get more fucking money. Yep, and she's re- and she's getting more money from Harry Potter with those um. Isn't she doing? She's doing, she, uh, say she's doing more Harry Potter stuff, isn't she? I'm planning to. Oh. Yeah, but it's not it's not it's not Harry Potter. It's it's the same universe, but the kids? it's um, before Harry Potter. Oh, uh, that actually might no, be alright. No, it's before Harry Potter. It's it's about it, it's a guy. It's like an arc. It's an it's a magical Indiana Jones. That's what it is. Oh great! And he's going around and seeing all like the mag all like the magical animals and shit, like all the weird and wonderful things of magic. Yeah. So basically, it's just gonna be lots and lots of dragons, lots of trolls, lots of fucked up shit, which will about never to be turned into a film or TV series. I think it's a trilogy. I think it's a trilogy. Yeah. Like, well, it's it won't last as long as fucking Harry Potter. Film. But it's not. It's not a book. It's it's her just making a, t- a movie. <laughs> well, if, you know, we you we. I imagine you read the Harry Potters or watched the films. Uh, I watched every film. I didn't really like it. I watched. I read the. I read up to the Goblet of Fire and got extremely fucking bored. So I never went. Back. Yeah, I, I I read them all. Yeah. And I watched all the films because I grew up with them. But the first one was, first film was really good. Two, three, and four. Eh. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like two was like eh. It's when it's when um, Hermione Granger decides to get hot. It's when it gets good. Because cause I like I like doing that. Cause I say, I mentioned this to all of you where she gets hot. And uh, just watch watch the films back, and then watch all the characters slowly realize throughout all the films that she gets attractive. <laughs> From being this annoying whiny bitch in the first film. 
It's all right. I had to go uh, run and grab my dog. We'll cut that bit out. He was uh, barking. He was barking downstairs. Okay, so uh, carry on what you're saying. I'm just saying that in the Harry Potter films, all you got to do is watch from the first to the last, and then watch as Hermione gets older and hotter, and people realise just how much she does. And then watch yeah. the actors. Actors realise in the film that she's hot. Oh, yeah. We... Uh, in England, we have the Lad Bible, don't we? Like, um, yes, yes. The thing on like Facebook and Twitter or whatever. Yeah, Lab Bible. And they are in absolute love with her. She She's fucking unbelievable now. She's good, quite good, yes. The worst definitely, is if you like. Definitely. Like, you've seen her grow up her entire life. Yeah. Which is really weird. Yeah. yeah. She's not a bad actor. Entire, the entirety of England has like, found, has like seen this one girl grow up and get fucking hot. <laughs> I think the entirety of the world, dude. So. If you like what happens in um, Game of Thrones with um, Sansa, uh, with Maisie Williams, and, Sansa um, especially, whatever um, Sansa, yeah, and Sansa getting fucking unbelievable. Yeah, she definitely has. Even Maisie's got all right now. She now that she's seventeen and over the Maisie, legal age, we can no, Maisie, officially Maisie's, say this. Maisie's getting better, but Sansa has gotten fucking hot. Oh god, yeah. Sansa's getting hotter quickly. Oh, oh yeah, not fair. It also, it also helps that Sansa in the show is the girly girl. Because Maisie, yeah. Maisie, uh, Maisie yeah. for the last three seasons oh, has been the scruffy one that's always been covered in mud. <laughs> yeah. So I want to say something there, but I can't talk about it because it's probably a... Actually, it's not a spoiler. Uh, I'm glad that what's happened in uh, in the um, series now, mm. like the, the update series where Sansa has done what she's done. Yes, yes, yeah. And um, we're up to episode three of season four. Mm. Um, now her story actually gets good. Yeah, it actually gets kind of interesting, yes. Yeah. Like... Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't. She's not just the pushover, crappy character who's just meh in the king's. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's just there. Now she gets. Yeah. yeah. Now it's actually now she has, she she has actually a storyline instead of being just shit. Well, in the book, yeah. in the book, she becomes a point of view character, but a proper one. Yeah. Hmm. An actual good point of view character. Well, in the book, she's always been a point of view character, but she's kind of just been like a point of view for like Joffrey. Yeah, she's been a point of view to see like, all the characters. Yeah. Now she's a they point of view really by herself. Joffrey's really. Point. They should have really had Joffrey. Yeah, I suppose you couldn't have a point of view of Joffrey. Though, no, you if not. you had a point of view of Joffrey, then he wouldn't think he was being an asshole. <laughs> no, yeah, because it would be able to justify it in his own mind. He'd just think, well, yeah, like you'd hear why he's thinking it. Like with Jamie and um, when you're doing the point of view things, he's he's class to have. Yes, because I get, when I'm reading the books, I hate oh. it whenever I'm whenever I'm reading. I'm like, I like, say I'm reading, say I'm just reading. It's like I don't know Tyrion. I'm like, yes, Tyrion chapter, get in there. Then I always love the Jon Snow ones because he's my favorite character, and I'm like, your class. Reading the Jon Snow ones is like, yes. And then it's like, flip over, Arya, get in there, let's keep going. And then you flip over, it's like, Catelyn, fuck. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, the, Cat- the Catelyn ones like, to the work Catelyn quite ones. annoying. Yeah. Catelyn, I thought Catelyn was all right when she was with Rob. Yes. But when she's not with Rob, and she's like, because in like, in like the fucking like, second book, in third book, she just sits with um, Hosta Tully. Yeah. For like ages. And it's like, yeah. It's like just, she's like talking like oh I'm, like she just talks with dad who's fucking dead, like he's he's a he's asleep and he's just drowsed off his face, so he doesn't reply. So we just heard talking to herself and it's like this is the only shit. good bit about but that bit is the obviously like the moon tea conversation they have with each other, well that he thinks he's having with his other daughter Liza, the old the old yeah, the whole yeah. abortion thing spoilers. Yeah, I've been out fucking long enough. That's the second book anyway. But yeah, um, the whole fact that he made Liza have an abortion. It's like that's actually kind of cool because it gives a, it makes you really understand why Liza is fucking insane. I mean, you don't you still don't like her. Yeah, and why she loves. But she, but you at least know why no, she's she, insane. Yeah, well, not just that because she's because she was insane because she got an abortion, forced. And that was that was before John Aaron, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was before. before John Aaron. Because um, that, yeah. that's one of the reasons. And then um, um, when jo- she had to marry John Aaron because. He was um, older yeah. than her, and, and then when really John Aaron came back, yeah. Then when then when she, her and John Aaron shagged, mm. she didn't she have five miscarriages before. Yeah, um, yeah, there was somewhat ridiculous. It, yeah, I think she had yeah, quite she had, a few. She had, she had an abortion, then she had like five miscarriages, and then she finally had Rob. Yeah, that's why it took her so long because she was pregnant at the same time as um, Catelyn was with Rob, and she was like, she was gonna say, oh, they're gonna be like best friends and be more like brothers instead of cousins. Yeah, and then. Her baby died, and John and Rob was born. 
Because she hated Rob. She yeah, hated well, she, she, yeah, she hated all the cats. Because he was kids, alive really. and he... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... Hello, Game of Thrones. Yeah, we all do. Such a good, such a good um, TV we series. We could talk about this for hours, but it's very hard to talk about something that's still know, ongoing. Should, should... Is the problem. I know. I know, it's because we have so many... Not really arguments, because we think both things are exactly the same. But um, mm. there's so many different fucking things that could happen in Game of Thrones, because George R. R. Martin just... Mm-hmm. He's such a good writer, and I'm not going to say anything bad about him because he'll probably kill my favorite characters off. Uh, I actually, I think he's a really good writer because you literally don't know what he's going to do quite a lot of the time. Obviously, some character I actually yeah, can predict. I think, but I think a lot of the time you're like, predictable Whoa. now because Whoa. I think now that like we're in the fifth book, he's a bit more predictable. Yeah, because you realize that he can kill people whenever he wants. The first three books are like, like the first book's like holy shit. Yeah, the, what? The and hell? then the second book's like. Hmm, because I can't rem- even remember who dies in the second book. Not really no many one, people. No one hit majorly important. Because it's the start of the war. Yeah. And then third book's like, oh my fucking god. Yes. And then fourth book's kind of like, hmm, well, okay. And then third book, and fifth book's like, yeah, that's not, nothing's really overly bad. Because you still have, like, the main people who you think. Yes. Yes, you do. Yeah. And we'll leave. If you haven't read the fifth. You haven't read the fifth book. Read the fifth book. <laughs> and we'll leave it there. Just go, we'll leave Game of Thrones talk there first. because we're getting yeah. very close to very dangerous territory. Yeah, we could spoil a lot. Of oh, we could do that. Very. I don't know. I really want to, but at the same time, my God, I know what I'd be like if it was happened to me. So I'm like, if it doesn't happen to me, well, if we did, we should, what we should do is we, we should do a book spoiler cast and invite Kieran to it. <laughs> just start with <laughs> yeah, yeah, start yeah. with the last thing that happens. Just in, tell like, him everything um, that happened in the, the latest Dragons. book. <laughs> just start there and see what he does. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, yeah, yes, just yes. Instantly start with Dance with Dragons. He'd be like, oh, just like, tell just what? tell him what happens what? at the end. What? Just tell him what happens at the end of this series. <laughs> It'll break him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just tell him what happens at the end. Of, yeah. By the way, this is what you have looked. This is what you had looked forward to. Now it's gone. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, you know that character you like? Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, you know that other character you yeah, like? Oh, you know she's dead too. Yeah. Fuck her. Uh, I have not been playing very many games. I'm too. I'm too obsessed with Minecraft. You do play a lot of that. So I've been playing a lot of League, but that's just because it's a game where a game. I like a game where you can play something for quite a while, and it's just one big game. I like it. Yeah. Also, because I play it with people, it's not so bad uh, just playing by yourself. Because I will, ad- I, I do admit, and I've said it always, that the community on League are fucking atrocious. They are all assholes. I'm sorry, right? But what what um community is good on games? Um, League is bad. Any, any, League is pod, really bad. It's fucking shit. Well, well, honestly, I think World of Warcraft isn't too bad. I think, it's, that's a, I think that's a stretch. It's not too. It's uh, not too bad. It's it's, bu- it's 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 less as bad as any other. Because, uh, if you, no, if you've got it, apart from maybe for, for it being an online, a, a constantly online game where you have to, where you almost always have to interact with people. I don't think it's that bad. Community wise. Yeah, that's what it's not. But the best community I've ever been on was probably um. Probably RuneScape. It's going back a long, we long ev- while now, isn't it? Yeah, but it's because everyone was young when we were playing that, and that was like when the internet was like... For the most part, people would try and help as well. Yeah. There was no problem. Hmm. I've uh, purchased the Amazing Spider-Man 2 limited edition thing, only for one reason, because you get a comic book with it, and I want to see what the comic book is. <laughs> also, it's the same price as it normally is. Oh, by the way, so, uh, you mentioned that? Batman Arkham, uh, Batman Arkham Origins, um, Batman Arkham Origins. Um, earlier. You should start playing that because there is now a DLC, for it. There now a DLC for it. Yeah, the Cold Cold uh, Heart. Icy Heart. Which Heart. is the song that um, the Joker sings in the credits. Because hmm. he sang a song yeah, in Batman about, Arkham uh, City and he sang one in Cold Cold Heart. Yeah, it's about... Uh, you just said his name there as well, Doctor um, um, Doctor Freeze. Oh, Doctor Freeze. Oh, is it? That's cool. Oh, Doctor Freeze. Oh, is it? That's cool. Yeah, that's what it's about. It's it's his origin. That's very interesting, actually. That's very interesting, actually. Yep. Huh. Very very interesting. Anyway, we're uh, we're Shh. almost thirty minutes now. We'll hit thirty minutes in about two seconds. So uh, I think we'll call it day for now. Everyone, thanks for listening to Radio Nifty again. We'll come back. I imagine at some point. Hopefully one time we'll keep it regular, but you know, we're sporadic. That's how we like it. 
See you later, guys. Yep, see you later.